Rangers and welcome to Ranger Review YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Scott's Bluff National Monument. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, now starting out with fact number one, Scott's Bluff National Monument is one of three national monuments located in the great state of Nebraska. Fact number two. Soaring over 800 feet tall above the North Platte River, Scott's Bluff has served as a landmark for peoples from Native Americans to immigrants on the California, Oregon, and Mormon trails, all the way up to modern citizens. Fact number three, Scott's Bluff National Monument preserves 3,000 acres of unusual land formations and wildlife. Fact number four, the monument encompasses two large cliff-rimmed bluffs, Scott Bluff and South Bluff. Fact number five, although early people in the area did not leave much behind that shows what the bluffs meant to them, evidence does show that they did camp at the foot of the bluff. Fact number six, first used in 1851, Michaels Pass is about three miles west of Garing and about 300 yards from the visitor center, situated between Eagle Rock and Centennial Rock. Although back in 1851, there wasn't a visitor center. Fact number seven, the riders of the Pony Express rode through Mitchell Pass from 1860 to 1861. Then came the telegraph. The first singing wires, as they were known by as Native Americans, were strung on the well-traveled trails the pioneers used. Fact number eight. There are five major rocks inside the monument. They are called Crown Rock, Dome Rock, Eagle Rock, Saddle Rock, and Centennial Rock. Fact number nine. Scott's Bluff National Monument holds the world's largest collection of original William Henry Jackson sketches, paintings, and photographs. William Henry Jackson is best known as the first person to ever photograph Yellowstone National Park. His images were adorned in the parlors of millions of American households and aided in the effort along with the work of Thomas Moran to create the world's first national park. His paintings and drawings provide valuable insight to the life in a time where America was suffering during the Civil War and venturing westward in search of a national identity. And finally, fact number 10. On a clear day on Scott's Bluff, one can see approximately 100 miles west to Warmy Peak. Well, everybody, that is the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little next one to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!